Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. How you guys doing? My name is Fumi and I make videos from Delta State, Nigeria. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to like guys. Please subscribe. We have a goal on this channel. Thank you so much and let's get into the video of the day. So I got these cakes today from the supermarket. The biggest supermarket we have in Delta State is ShopRite. So I got three of the 18 cheese cake. I got some that were already iced and then I got this one that wasn't iced at all because it was cheaper. I've seen posts about people changing supermarket cakes to wedding cakes and I wanted to try my hands out on one of them. I got one of these for 2,400 and I got six of that so we'll do the plus and minus but basically that's what it costs to get all of this and then for the frosting I'm going to be using this my trusted buttercream frosting so this is the buttercream frosting i use in my bakery every day so that's what we're going to be decorating with i have different buttercream frosting recipes on this channel if you would also like all the recipes i use in my bakery i have a book out that has all the tried and trusted recipes i use on my bakery i have it out in my book so if you would like to purchase that it will be linked below the name of the book is dough so it has all my recipes stories about how i started my business you know how you can do your pricing costing guys that book just has so many amazing details so if you're a baking enthusiast if you're a baker if you're trying to start a business you should definitely get that book i'd like to make a wedding cake that looks like a valentine's cake because valentine's day is around the corner so this is what i got when i got it i didn't even know their frosting was so soft the frosting just started scattering guys look at it it's all melted oh my goodness let me show you guys so this is what it looks like this will probably use for something else so the goal on today's video is to transform these cakes into a wedding cake first of all the buttercream is already melting so let me get a bowl so that i can just stick out all of this frosting and then Oh, we can get into it. So we're going to be using this. I just got this recently. I love the color. This is my first time actually trying this cake cake. It tastes like a buttercream cake. I just don't know what type of buttercream they use. So just in case you hear cats meowing, my cat is somewhere around. It has refused to leave me alone. It's just going around. Let's Ben, can you just go away? Go and, go and chill. Oh, okay, so this is like a chocolate cake. And it has the frostings on it and sprinkles. I think maybe we should incorporate this into our frosting. What do you guys think? Let me know. So I'm just going to scrape everything off so that it's fresh and ready for our next cake i've taken out frosting from this one now we're going to use this this is going to be our paper which is going to be like the support between this cake and the bottom tier i'm going to move this cake to my paper let me just turn it around yep see the thing is with supermarket cakes it's so dry like the frosting is so moist and delicious and then the cake is dry I never get that, probably because they make in batches and sell day, every day, but like it's so annoying. Imagine buying a beautiful cake like this and then it's dry. It's unacceptable. But mm, frosting is actually really delicious. So what I've done, it's just part of my cat. So what I have done is I've turned it upside down. Now I'm going to fill it and then trim it to this size. So let's use our white frosting. So I'm going to be using my basic standard buttercream frosting. Why is your cake this dry? ShopRite, you need to do better. The plan is to use one of these for this one, just to give it, give it a little bit of height. Guys, I hope by the time we're done, I won't have eaten all the frosting on this cake because it's actually delicious. Like. I need to find that recipe. Whatever recipe ShopRite is using, I need to find it. So this is what the plain sheet cake look like. So I'm just going to layer it on top of it. And then let's trim off this part, just so that our cake is straight. We don't want like lopsided cakes. So I'm just using a serrated knife to trim. Let's see. Mm. The vanilla one is actually moist. I wonder what happened to the chocolate. Put some frosting on this as well. No, Ben. So 
the name of my cat is Ben. Just in case you guys are wondering who I'm talking to, like, who's this lady talking to? She's talking to herself. Who is Ben? Ben is my cat. So let's scrape out the frosting from this as well. Life is Okay, so. Oh, shagadas, So if you have been watching, I was selected as one of the YouTube Black Voices fun class of 2022. So let me just explain to you what it is, just in case you do not understand. I'm going to put this with the top side underneath so that I want it to be straight. Yeah. Let me wash my hands. So basically what it means is that YouTube has this fund that they do where yearly where they select a group of creators and then put them in a class. How to better your content creation, how to better your channel, you know, just things like that. They give you someone that basically tells you, okay, if this is what you want to do, you tell them your ideas, they give you like the best way they think, okay, you can go about achieving it. So, and of course they give you some money. So the money they are giving is not for you to just run mad, it's for you to get equipment. Guys, that's how I was able to get this camera that we are using right now. So money are finished. And then they amplify your channel. They basically just give you everything you need to succeed. Because basically they have seen that, okay, your channel has good prospects and all that. So they're like, you know what? Let's give you everything that you could possibly need to blow up your channel and let's see how it goes. So basically that's what Black Voices Fund is all about. I am so grateful. Like, you guys know me now, who I be. <laughs> so I'm actually so grateful that I was one of the people that were selected this year for this year's class. So last year's class had amazing people like Chef Zilicious that I love, Dima Ume, a couple of awesome people on it last year. We're part of it this year. Yeah, so this year we have um, Adese Space, Chinere Abang, Fisayo Fosudo, without further ado, just a couple of cool creators. And let me tell you the funny part about it this year, right? They chose me, Adese Space, and Chinere Abang. And the weird coincidence that Adese was bringing out the other day was that we are, three of us are like the three YouTube girl moms. Like we have three daughters each. So it was so weird. Like it's a very weird and nice coincidence because my kids watch Chinere's channel because her kids are about the same age as mine, so they like to watch her channel, they like to see her kids, so it's actually very cool. I'm doing like the chrome coat. Chrome coat is like the base coat, so basically what the chrome coat is supposed to do is, it's supposed to hold all the crumbs. So if you see, I'm trying to get it to be as smooth as possible with the chrome coat. The chrome coat basically gets your cake to be as smooth as possible without destroying the shape of the cake. Chrome coat is supposed to hold everything in, like all the rough, edges everything so you crumb coat it first let it chill for a little bit if you can put in your fridge or freezer you put in your fridge or freezer and what that does is it holds all the crumbs make sure that as you're getting your main coat on it you don't end up with crumbs on your frosting so just in case you're decorating a cake and you have frosting on the final cake you probably did not do your crumb coat very well or you didn't let it set before moving to the next stage. So I'm trying to just make sure that there's no cake opening anywhere. There's no rubbish showing, peeking through. No, we don't want that. So it's a chocolate cake. And then this is just like a plain vanilla frosting. I'm done with the crumb coating. As you can see, it looks nice. What do you guys think about the YouTube Black Voices Fund? Have you heard of it before? You know, is this the first time you're hearing about it? Please let me know in the comment section below so that I have an idea. I'm just trying to clean the board because it's harder to clean the board after the cake is dry. So I find that it's easier to just clean it now. This is not going to be our final board. We're going to use another board for the final board, which is the board I'm going to be trimming the other cake on. This is just the board we're using for trimming. I'm going to take my cake off the board. You remember I put another board underneath so I can easily carry my cake. On this channel this year, we're going to be making more videos like this, just fun cake videos, cake recipe videos, desserts, you know, uh, snacks, things like meat pies, you know, chicken pies, just basically pastries and desserts. I feel like that's my specialty. I can cook, oh, but that's not really like what I would like the channel to be about. So guys, just let me know in the comment section below what you really think about that. 
But basically, that's like the direction I would like to take the channel. And then, obviously, I'll have more vlogs, more Q and A tags with like family members. I will introduce you guys to more of my family members this year. God willing. If there's anybody you'd like me to bring up to this channel, please let me know. If you have any ideas, recipes you'd like me to do, just to help you out, please let me know as well. So when I was buying this cake, I was expecting it to be all crumbly, but I actually really love it. Guys, so if you have any ideas for what you want, like more videos you would like to see on the channel, please leave it in the comment section below. So as I can start working on it, because this channel, guys, is for all of us. This is our channel. It was made for you guys, and you guys have showed me so much love, like, man. I've gotten a couple of people asking me to make desserts, uh, cheesecake, like how to show you how to make cheesecake in Nigeria because you know things in Nigeria are not the same everywhere so if you are one of those people please let me know in the comment section below I said if we get 15 comments asking for cheesecake I'll make cheesecake the reason why I want 15 comments right is because you see cream cheese is not available in worry like they don't sell cream cheese anywhere in Delta states as a whole so, if I'm going to be making a cheesecake, I will buy the cream cheese from Lagos. You get, and it's very expensive to buy. So, I'm just trimming the cake lightly, but the cake is so soft. So, I won't be trimming it too much because we don't want our cake to collapse. Let me put my buttercream. So, I'm going to be doing the same thing I did with the first cake, which is crumb coating. So, I'll put like a crumb coat of buttercream on the cake. We don't talk about bro, no, 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 no. Guys, my children have me singing that song. And the funny part is, you know I've not even watched the movie. They have watched it, but I haven't. And every day, we're singing We Don't Talk About Bruno. If you're one of the We Don't Talk About Bruno fans, please let me know. So I have crumb coated this one. I find that it's easier to decorate bigger buttercream cakes. Eight inches, 10 inches, 12 inches. Once you start getting to 14 inches, it becomes harder. Or at least more stressful, not harder. It becomes more stressful. This is going to be easier to decorate than the six inch cake. Six inch cake will just piss you off a little bit. So I'll add a little water to the frosting just so that it's a little loose and then we'll continue. So. Let's just mix that water in a little bit. All I did is see my piping bag. I just put my hand so that I can put my frosting in it neatly. I don't like messy things. I don't like things touching my hand. Funny because I'm a baker, right? But I don't. That's why there's like a sink right behind my workstation because I have to wash my hands like every five to ten minutes. I have to wash my hands. So our frosting is in the bag. So let me fill two bags up. <sighs> guys, if you've watched to this point and you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel, guys. Please watch the ads. That's how I make money. So far, through this month, we have been full-time on YouTube. I never thought I would be able to do it, but we are full-time right now for a few. I just want to check it out and see what it's going to look like to be full. So I love my turntable. I just got this turntable. So it's like, um, what color is this? Teal. If you notice, I like types of colors. Guys, our cake, as you can see, is dry. So the reason why I'm using the bag is that it's going to give me neater, a neater cake. So if you can, use a bag to put your main frosting on the cake. It doesn't have to fill up everywhere, but the parts that it can fill up, just use the bag to do it. It'll look really nice when you're done. Then I'm going to use this spatula to just smoothen it out. So it just makes it easier, do you understand? You already have like the layer of frosting that you want, so you just smoothen it out and then continue. Yeah looking nice so you see we're done straight to the point so i'm going to do the sides as well in places that don't have buttercream i'm just going to fill them in 
So guys, just in case you want to do this at home, all you need, it's very easy to decorate a cake. I feel like bakers just make it look hard so that, you know, people can put some respect on my name, you know, put some respect on their job. But it's very easy, like you can decorate your cake at home by yourself very easily. So I'm just trying to scrape off. I don't want a lot of frosting. I don't want excess frosting. I just want enough frosting for the cake. You know? No, too much, too much frosting. Nah. So I'm done with that. Let me add some to the bottom. Guys, I've added some to the bottom, so I just want to straighten it out so that I can take off the excess at the top and then we're done. This cake is very easy, straightforward. Every buttercream cake is very easy. It's very funny when I get a lot of people tell me that like, there was cake to decorate, it's a buttercream cake. I can decorate a buttercream cake in my sleep. A fondant cake will stress me because it takes so long to just, you know, make so many little things. But like a, fond a buttercream cake is just straight to the point no plenty stress, no plenty talk, it's just straight. So basically all I'm doing is just leaning this against the cake and then getting out the excess, that's all. So, ta-da! So I'll cut out all the excess on top or we're done. So basically there are different ways you can get sharp edges on your cake so you can either put it in the fridge bring it out and then trim out the excess buttercream on top or you can just scrape it out i scrape it out every time because i find it hard to put it in the fridge because of the climate and worry by the time you bring your cake out of the fridge and then it goes under the sun your cake is going to melt so i actually just avoid the fridge totally if i can depending on the type of cake though if it's like a soft cake soft and fluffy cake like um, red velvet, chocolate, real chocolate cake, not like um, red velvet, chocolate cake, those kind of cakes I will put in the fridge. So I will just put my buttercream in the fridge. But if it's like a pound cake, then I will put it in the fridge. This is how I'll just achieve my sharp edges and then continue. Guys, so if you have any question for me, I think we have a couple of new people on the channel. So if you have any question for me, I think the next, we'll be doing a Q&A very soon. So if you have any questions you'd like me to answer, please just leave it in the comment section. I will answer them and then make a video about them. So basically all I'm doing is using this edge to just scrape out the excess and then scraping it onto the bowl immediately. So just take out the excess, put it on the bowl, take out the excess, put it on the bowl. That's all I'm doing. So we are done with this one. So I'm just going to leave it to firm up. Oh. This is what it looks like. Bad man looking good in the yard. Okay, so this, guys, so this is going to be our final board. So it's just a paper straw board, but it has like serrated edges and it's gold and shiny. So this is going to be our final board. So I'll transfer the bigger cake onto this one. So I'll transfer this cake onto this board so that we can do the final decorating and then move to the next cake. So I'm just lifting it. See, it's already dry. Yay! Eh, eh, eh. Bado. So. So guys, as you can tell, the cake is already dry. So I can just put like my final coat of buttercream on it and then finish decorating it. So I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to use the piping bag. So. This time, let's start from the bottom. Started from the bottom, now we're here. So we're going to start from here. So 
So like I said, this is just for formality's sake. It's not like you have to do this. You don't have to put your buttercream on your cake like this. I just like to do it because I feel like it's neater and it looks nicer and better. So that's why. Guys, so maybe you don't know, buttercream cakes are like my favorite cake. I remember when I was getting married, I wanted a buttercream wedding cake and the baker was like, no, <laughs> she wasn't even having it. She was just like, no, you're getting married in worry. You're getting married in a tent outdoor. There's no way I am giving you a buttercream cake for your wedding. She just absolutely refused. So we had to come to a compromise. So the compromise was that if I'm not going to get the buttercream cake, So we had to come to a compromise. Now the compromise was that if I wasn't going to get a buttercream cake that was like my dream wedding cake, she was going to give me a, something that was buttercream. So she did like this really cool cupcake um, tour. So it had like a lot of cupcakes and it, it was all red velvet. I love that lady. I wonder where she is now. I wonder. Her name was Cakes by Rolly. She used to be a baker in Warren. Oh. She just made me the cake of my dreams. So I'm going to smoothen it out with my scraper. Okay guys, so our cake, our crumb coat is hard enough and then the other cake is hard as well so what i'm going to do now i'm going to put our dowel rods inside so basically the dowel rods act as a support so that by the time you put it in the next cake is basically being supported by this stick because your cake is not the cake you know you cannot carry a lot of weight so let's see put the first one in the middle and then try to cut it so this is my plier and then you cut it out. So I use, this is the ply I use every time. So I'm just going to place it. You have to know, like, I know the size of my, the board I placed inside. So your cake, whatever support you put has to be that size. You can't make it bigger than your support because that support is going to rest on this. So, okay, so we have placed our, so we placed the dowel rod in. So now we're going to put the other cake on top. But first, I'm going to put buttercream. So basically, that buttercream, you know our cake is already cold. It's not really cold, but like, so that the cake that I'm putting on top has something to hold on to. That's why I'm putting the extra buttercream on top, just in the center where the other cake is going to rest. So let's put our other cake on it. This is our cake, it's stacked. So now I'm just going to fill in the edges and then we're good to go. So all I just did is I just filled in this. Guys, guys, as you can see, our cake is stacked and ready. Okay, I think it's hard for you to see. See, let me turn around. Can you see? So if you're going to put this in the fridge, you can just keep it in the fridge overnight and then but I'm going to finish decorating it now. So So guys, guess what? We're going to use these beads to just go around the side, you know, just look nice and then and then we're going to decorate with our gold leaf. So we're going to take this this is just a skewer, so what I'm going to use this to apply the gold leaf on the cake so that it looks nice. So.
chose red and white artificial flowers. That's what we're going to be decorating the cake with. I felt like those colors will make it pop. But please note, if you're putting anything into your cake that is not cake, please wrap it up. So I'm going to wrap up the, this part, the part that has the metal with this. So this is a florist tape to wrap up wires and stuff so we can place it into our cake. So. I'm just going to wrap the bottom of the cake, bottom of it, see. So when you wrap it, what it does is, it protects your cake from getting in direct contact with this. So, one in. So cut it again. Wrap it. We wrap it up with our florist tape. You know, we don't want to get food poisoning or expose ourselves to anything that we don't know how to expose ourselves to. So, wrap it again. And then we put it in the cake. So, we'll do that till we are done with all the flowers. Stick it in. Stick it in. Now, I want it to come up and then like the final one will be here so what i'll do is i'll cut it wrap it again <laughs> wrap it again and again and again and again just keep wrapping so no matter what you're putting as long as it's not food safe or food material please just wrap it you know you never know sometimes you might assume okay i'll eat this cake in two days or the client will eat it in two days and then they leave your flour stuck inside the cake for maybe a month and you know it has metal so the flour will start rusting and then obviously you don't even want to <laughs> try what that would be like but so put it in now after doing that this is looking nice already we're going to put this one so this is just like tiny white pretty roses as well So I'm just trying to create like a little nice pattern. Ta-da, guys, our cake is done. So you can put like a love topper on top. You can just put whatever you want to, to jazz it up, but this is what the cake looks like. I hope you guys like it. I hope you think it looks nice. I think it look very, looks very pretty with lots of flowers. I think like since it's a wedding cake, you can probably put like the signage of the couple right here. The wedding cake, you can put the signage of the couple right here, maybe like AE or something, and just place it here. Then put like a topper on top of it, and it just takes it to the next level. But guys, that is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope the cake looks nice. So, guys, let me know what you think about the cake in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching at last. Thank you guys so much for all the love, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.